Please silence your cell phones. I finally landed on this Vivo book. This is an Asus Vivo book F510 UA AH51. It says it's gray plastic, LCD 15.6 FHD, U Slim WV, whatever that means. CPU is Intel i5-8250U. The uh, storage is HDD 1TB, 5400 RPM. RAM is DDR4, 8 gigabytes. The Wi-Fi is WLAN 802.11ac USB is USB 3.1 plus USB 3.0 plus two USB 2.0 ports. Operating system is Windows 10 64 bit, three cell, 42 watt hour battery. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. I hope it's pretty incredible. What's in the box? Let's see, we got a our laptop which is good we got the warranty forms user guide and it's probably the power cord and it is it's a large box for the power cord and it looks like that's it in the box I'm not sure if there's anything else in there. no that's it now according to the specs, this thing only weighs 3.7 pounds, so it makes it ultra portable. That's one of the reasons why I bought this. I personally will be using this for uh, video editing, and I'll be watching a lot of movies on this thing and doing a lot of YouTube browsing, web browsing, stuff like that. So talking about the build quality, it's made out of all plastic parts. Um, let's open this up real quick. This is amazing looking. The one of the best things I keep hearing about is the screen. My first impressions are this is very sleek, very minimalistic design which i like specs read that it's less than an inch thick i just measured it with a, a nickel and the nickel is about how high it is at the largest part now you get a, a thicker edge at the hinge and then it gets thinner as it goes down so not by much but it does get a little thinner this screen is an ips screen and it's full hd 1080p and it's a matte finish so you'll get less glare it has way better viewing angles and the finger scanner right here and that's really hard to find on this price range for a laptop now the best part about these computers are they're upgradable the larger hard drive you can upgrade it to two terabytes m2 ssd drive is upgradable to 512 gigabytes so you can do a lot with this thing and i will have both of those linked in the description on amazon if you want to check them out on amazon check all the reviews and stuff and also other people that do video editing for YouTube, say that this runs Adobe Premiere Pro great. That's the program that I'm gonna be using. But if we're facing the computer, this would be the right side of the laptop. And here we have the charging port. We have a USB 3.0 port, HDMI port, USB-C 3.1, and we have a headphone jack right here. If we flip it around to the left side, we have two USB 2.0 ports, and we have a slot for an SD card. All right, now let's talk about the charger. So at first sight, this thing is really nice. It looks pretty long. 100 to 240 volts, 50 to 60 hertz. Output is 19 volts, 2.37 amps. It is made in China. It's got the model number on there. Cool little Asus design. The only problem I see with this is it might take up space. If you're plugging this into an outlet, it might block the other outlet. 88 inches long, and that's a, a little over seven feet. So you're gonna have a lot of cord to play with here. And I really like this little Velcro wire management thing. It helps keep your cord a little more organized. And one thing about this laptop, in the manual it says charge the notebook PC for three hours before using it in battery mode for the first time. So that's also very important. Now this laptop is super sexy, looks amazing. I'm really loving it so far. The only problem I see is with the standard hard drive that comes with it. It's, I bought the one, there's two different options. I bought the one with the standard HDD hard drive 5400 RPMs. And the reason I did that, it was on sale for $509 from $599. And 
I bought this guy, which I will link in the description. It's a Western Digital Blue solid state drive. It is 250 gigabytes. And I'm gonna use this for booting up the system and I'm gonna put my video editing software on this. So for under $600, you're getting a lot with this computer. You're getting an amazing value. So if you're on the fence about what to buy, go ahead and check out my links in the description and go check out the reviews. You will not be disappointed. There's gonna be a few more videos on this exact same laptop, so stick around. Right now, I'm gonna film the first boot and the system setup. I'm gonna be updating Windows 10. And then after that, I'm going to install the SSD drive. And I'm gonna get all of that on film how to install it, how to take the computer apart and install it, and then how to format it on Windows 10. So if you're interested in that, leave a like, comment, subscribe to my channel and stick around. This is gonna be really nice. Hang on to your seats.